it is day 3 in Korea and I'm in Seoul right now and it's raining. I'm gonna go have some breakfast in a convenience store right now. There's Kima 24 over there and we're gonna go have breakfast over there. I didn't know how to make the ramyeon, so I asked the lady at the store to help me out and she was kind enough to do so. Banana milk was my favorite drink in Korea. They have other variants too, strawberry and melon and I tried them all but banana was my favorite. It's so good. that my dad and I went to Yongsan because he forgot to get his charger from India laptops charger and then I realized that Hype is also in Yongsan so I thought of dropping by there as well and by dropping by obviously I mean looking at it from the outside I mean they're not gonna let nobody like me inside believe these people actually have boards which accurately tell how many minutes our bus is arriving. So advanced yeah. Actually there used to be hype inside before but before when it was open you could go in and there was a museum where you could see everything related to uh, hype's artists but when I went it was temporarily closed and the reason was that the museum is being turned into practice room for the artists because there's a lack of space Apparently, I mean, I don't know how there could be a lack of space. I mean, look at this building. That building right there is high. By the way, this was the day that J-Hope enlisted for military. So I don't think any of the BTS members were actually in the building that day. Although it wouldn't have really made any difference. It's not like they would like come out and be like, hi. Although, how cool would it be if they did that? Huh, only in my dreams. That we had some lunch. For lunch, we had fried chicken and ramyeon. So after a heavy and yummy lunch, we headed towards Gimpo Airport because we were flying to Jeju.
Koreans and their obsession with tiny dogs. I mean, like, if I've seen any pet dogs with Korean, they're usually this tiny and they're so cute. And they usually carry them around in like baby strollers and they have like cute socks on and they have hair ties to keep their fur in place. They're so cute. So we flew Air Seoul and it's a very short flight to Jeju. I think it's about just one hour or something. So we hadn't really booked a transfer in Jeju, we figured we'd just take the public bus but after landing we realized that the buses there aren't frequent so we got a taxi, a jumbo taxi and actually we got ripped off. Uh, he charged us 30,000 for a ride that would have costed us like 11, 12,000 won. But you know the lesson that we learned is book through cacao taxi. I wasn't really very hungry so I just picked up a juice from this convenience store. We stayed at the Pampas Hotel Jeju and this is the room tour. If you're wondering why I didn't do a room tour for the Seoul one, it's because it was horrible, okay? There was really nothing much to show that even if I would have done a room tour, it would have ended before it even began. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the vlog and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.